It look by the bar. Hey, we're alive. With my Raven shirt on because we won today. This shirt was my granddad's. And when he passed away, we went through things. Um, and I wanted the Raven shirt. So, hi. So I am on to ooh, chat. Hey, but Carmen, the first one on my live. Look, look, look. Hey, Carmen's Carmen. on the live. Hey, Carmen. <laughs> hey, Carmen. But I asked for what you didn't even fill it up. Can, you know what, Candace? I look, look, I'm not Jeeves, all right? You can get Jeeves. your own, a servant person. I don't want to Jeeves. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Nelson. Carmen, say hey. Hey, uh, hey, Carmen. Latoya, hi. Can you tell her that I don't have to get her drinks whenever she I asked. Me? No, I did not. I Okay, what did I say? I was like, I have actually a huge favor, and I know you're going to hate me for it. Can you give me something to drink? That's what I said. I didn't demand it. Oh, there's no ice in it. You don't have it filled up all the way. Because I said uh, ice you know water. What? You know what? There are people in Ethiopia that would love to have that drinking water. Okay, well, take it to them in Ethiopia. I don't understand when people say that. They're starving kids. Like, I'm supposed to eat all my food. Like, if I don't eat it, Candace, you can send it to someone. I'm not understanding. I guess it's like to be grateful, I guess. But Carmen said, Nelson, be nice. Are you going to go? Anyway. Hey, you guys, we are going to get started. I'd like to let a few people um, click on and do have makeup on. I took my lip off. <sighs> That's the first thing to go. But uh, hi, um, let's chat. I don't have anything. Um, well, I guess a little bit. I don't know. Like, if you guys have anything to talk about, but this is, again, my, I want to make these regular, like, I want to do them more often because the lives are really interactive with you all, and I can talk about things I usually don't talk about on my channel, i.e. drama. Stuff like that. Because it's much more fun. Uh, I did this look. Hey, I'm glad you made it. Uh, I did this look using the Morphe and James Charles palette. I've been using this a lot, my opinion on the new Huda Beauty palette. I don't have it yet, but I can talk about that. Um, I've been using this palette since I got it. I got it on release day. Um, I just filmed my review on it. So I've had it for about a week, at, two weeks-ish. Um, and that's enough time. Okay, so... I did a review. It'll be up on my channel um, in December. And what else? But I used this today. Um, and I didn't do super bright and colorful. I have green on the lower lash line, but some of my other looks are bright and colorful with it. But, you know, we're just trying all the shades. Anyway, I also filmed a video today on just some other palettes I picked up from Ulta on Black Friday. I went with my mother and I used my points. So she got some things too. And I only got one, two, three, four things. Five if you include the mascara I got. But um, I just used my points for, you know, why not? Um, but anyway. So since someone did ask, you asked about the Huda Beauty palette. I am going to get that. <laughs> For a few reasons. Number one, I love Huda Beauty's formula. I love her palettes. Um, I really do. So I have high hopes for it too. I love the color scheme. I, I saw the picture. Let me get my tablet so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Black Friday, I got this little Amazon Fire tablet for $29.99. I'm not a big tablet person. I'm more of a two-in-one laptop type of person. But $29.99, I thought it was just very cute. My mom got one too. And um, yeah. So let's go to... What did I say I was doing? I, I forgot that fast. Oh, browser. Okay, I'm going to show you the Huda Beauty palette. But anyway, the reasons why I like the color scheme. Um, is there not internet? Am I not finding internet? Uh, I like the color scheme. I like the Huda, uh, like I said, the Huda formula. I am, um, I have high hopes for it. And because this one's kind of bad, but I have $50 left to spend to stay rouge in 2019. And that palette's $65. <laughs> 
I want it, but didn't know if it's brown girl friendly. That's true. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, um, okay, here we go. I found the browser. So I might have to swatch it in store, but either way, I know I want it. It's one of those situations where that's something I will buy before swatching, even though it's 65 bucks, but because our other palettes have done me well. So it's kind of what it is. I'm looking it up, the nude one, to show you all. And let's see what we can tell. I also heard, well, I know for sure, it comes with a concealer, a cream concealer in the palette, which I thought was different. Um, I don't know. Here it is. Oh, let's see if I can zoom. So, pictures. Here we go. This is just cute, y'all. Um... Hey girl, hey China, what's up? All right, maybe I feel like a senior citizen and I don't know how to work this. <laughs> oh, I was trying to zoom on it, but all right, so this palette here, um, all right, so. I've heard great things about it, but again, not too much. I haven't done a lot of research and looking at other reviews on it yet. Probably should, should shouldn't I? Uh, but yeah, that that's on there. That's what I'm checking out. Um, let me see something. So let me show you guys what I got. I actually filmed a mini haul, a mini Ulta haul, but since we're on live, you guys get to see them first. What I got. Really quick, I got another Morphe palette. This is the 9N. Um, I want to address some Morphe drama in a minute. Let me show you these palettes, but I got the 9 in. I'm not going to go in depth because, again, I talk about these in that little haul video. Um, but let's see if we can get it in there. Cute. This was $12. Um, I told you guys, I spend my Ulta points on things... The new NYX collection. Carmen, you guys, Carmen is my sister. We did a live like two weeks ago. And so she on here, she on here giving me the business. Are you kidding? I don't even know what new NYX, let me look it up. All right. And I got, so back to my points. I, um, I spend my money on things that, I spend my points on things that I usually wouldn't spend my own money on or I've been like hesitant to spend my own money on, you know, things like that. And so this palette I've been wanting for a while. And I don't know why I want it. I want it because I have all the others. It's one of those situations. And I really want to see if it lived up to the hype. And that's the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I have a deep palette, if you will. I show that in the haul too. And so I finally picked it up. And I heard great things about it. And yeah, it's free. So why not? And then LA Girl has two new palettes. This highlighter palette. Swatches are in that video. So $12.99 at Ulta. As well as this eyeshadow palette LA girl you guys $12.99 at Ulta I mean this was $20 $19.99 so I picked up those um I didn't do much Black Friday shopping uh really at all I picked up should be coming soon I ordered the new NYX collection <laughs> I ordered the New Juvia's Place palette, the all matte one. I forgot what it's called. That was 11 bucks on by Friday. I ordered that. And I ordered the Perfusion, the other Perfusion. I froze. I froze. Anyway, um, I have I have the, the, I'll show you. Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not um, explaining well at all. NYX collection. Okay. And then Profusion, like I said, from Profusion, they're part of their holiday line. They came out with some nine pain palette little sets. And they're ten dollars also, but everything was on sale for Black Friday. And so I got all four sets for 26 bucks plus free shipping. So let's see. Um I don't know. Don't know what I'm seeing here. Don't know what I'm seeing here. 
Um, I don't know. So anyway, let's talk about while 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 I I'll come back to that. Let's talk about Morphe, and I just have to, I've I've talked about this in videos, but I really want to break it down. Okay. The first thing I need to say is. I have almost 12,000 subscribers, okay? So I am not a large YouTuber by any means. And one of my pet peeves, it really is, is people watch large YouTubers. Obviously, they're the majority. Uh, I mean, they're the the well-known. Like, let's say the top 20 beauty YouTubers. People watch them and assume that that is how all beauty YouTubers are, you know? And I was talking about this in a Get Ready With Me that I filmed. People watch larger YouTubers, which are great. And a lot of them fit into this stereotype box. And then if it if it if they become a negative way or if they have any negative things attached to them, then the whole beauty community for some reason is tainted. So specifically when I talk about Morphe, Morphe has had a bad rap for a while. Um <laughs> with like apparently private labeling, although I heard they don't do that anymore. Um, and like everyone who shills Morphe has an affiliate code and Morphe brushes suck and all that they just pay the big beauty YouTubers to promote them and they pay them and they sponsor their videos and they shell out money and they do all these things to get their name up. Kind of like Fashion Nova for makeup, if you guys are familiar. Okay. So, well, I guess Morphe was first in Fashion Nova, but... So let me tell you about my relationship with Morphe. So I discovered Morphe in my very first IMAX. That hey. Oh, Nick Sugar Trip Collection. I did get some things from them. I got the two volts and I got the palette. Um, so anyway, while well, I'm still talking about Morphe, uh um, where was I? So I discovered them at my very first IMATS. Maybe it's a little bit nostalgia for me. Um, when I went to I'm and when I went to IMATS for the first time, they had a bunch of 35 palettes and they had some 28 palettes too back in the day. And they were like 13 bucks. And I'm like, okay, these large palettes, you know, for cheap. And I picked up quite a few, maybe like three, three or four, two, two to three. I don't know. I could be exaggerating. Uh, Morphe palettes, and they were my favorite palettes. I mean, I mean, I created great looks with them. I wore eye primer back in the day. I, they, I created looks with them. I had no issues with them. As my skills enhanced, I still used a lot of other shadows, fell in love with things like Lil Rock and Too Faced, and I still enjoyed Morphe shadows. Like, I don't see anything wrong with their eyeshadows. As far as how they feel and, like, the blendability, there are no Lil Rock Pro shadows, but Lorac Pro also doesn't come in as fun colors as Morphe does. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So every year I go to the Morphe booth. Morphe is my first booth I go to. I get a bunch of shadows in a palette for a great price, and I play around with them. Yes, I'm not ignorant to some of the inconsistencies. Like in the 35 palette, you might have like 12 shades that are the exact same in the palette. But whatever. To me, still, I'm paying, you know, I... Pay 20 bucks or so for 35 pans. Um, I have two piercings. I always get lipstick on my piercings. Please help. Okay, I can show you that. Um, with pans, and with uh, I get 35 pans and I paid like 20 bucks. I don't know, it just didn't bother me. So, anyway, fast forward, you know, it's YouTube beauty YouTubers, you know, blowing up. This is a thing, this is a community, this is a culture. Uh, you know, Morphe. Everyone has an affiliate code for Morphe. Everyone has a, everyone has a, um, you know, a code. Everyone has an ulterior motive when they're talking about Morphe. You know, Jacqueline Hill talks about Morphe. Obviously, she has a palette with them. So, yes, you know, just, I don't know. Anyway, so, um, you know, like when you're reading and you're in the community and like, especially like in the beauty community, like the critics of the beauty community, um, shout out to Beauty Guru Chatter on Reddit. That's a, that's a sub, a community I read that has thousands of, thousands of subscribers that talk about beauty gurus and what they like and what they don't like and sharing their loves and their hates and everything. And the number one complaint about Morphe, you know, they, they can't trust the beauty gurus who talk about Morphe because they're clearly getting paid for it. Morphe can pay me because I like them. 
They don't pay me. I am not sponsored. I have never been sponsored. I don't think Morphe knows I exist. Um, I like their brushes. They're inexpensive, but they work. I don't know. And it makes you feel like something's wrong with you. Like, I'll read things as, like, who could, who could love Morphe? Like, people say these things. Like, if you genuinely like Morphe, then you're just not good at makeup. They're, they're, they're horrible. All these things. And it's, like, it frustrates me because I like what I like. But it almost makes it, like, me not want to show it on camera because I don't want to get that. You know, it, it's crazy. And so Morphe has been getting a lot of, a lot of, I don't want to say hate. It's not hate, but a lot of criticism for that. And it just frustrates me because it's like there's so many smaller YouTubers that are not getting paid for anything. We might get our little checks from Google to throw ads on our videos. But trust me, it does not equal to the amount of money I spend on all of this. And I do it because I love it. But it's just so frustrating when people put everyone who does a beauty video in the same bubble as like the top 10 that do those sponsored videos and get paid and shill and everything. And it just it just annoys me so much how do you guys feel about morphe do you like morphe is the products okay has bigger beauty gurus led you to not trust the company i don't know carmen yes i got the two lip vaults from the sugar trip um, collection and i got the palette and i've used it and i like it <laughs> so um, yeah i don't know i have a lot of morphe is probably the company Morphe is the company where I own the most palettes, probably next to Wet n Wild or whatever. But yeah, and I enjoy them. And I don't know. What do you come? I need to come play in those shows. You do. So how do I still got my bottom lip with my piercing? I just go around it. So what I do, uh, liquid lipsticks are obviously easier. So you take the wand. And what I do is I take the wand. This is a little, this is a little sample I got in my Sephora box. So I take the wand. And I go around it roughly. Do you like the Jaclyn Hill palette? So I go around it roughly. And then, this is a horrible shade, by the way. <laughs> um, and I take my tongue. It's so crazy. And I push out the the jewelry. And I just go around it. I just go around it. There you go. And then, with a bullet lipstick, um, I do the same thing. Obviously, the bullet is a little bit fatter, so I do get stuff on the jewelry and so like if i'm doing a bullet lipstick i will like press my lips together to spread the color out and it'll get on the lipstick on the jewelry if it's a bullet lipstick that's easy to come off i just lick i just lick my finger and get it all off if it's a liquid lipstick or something like that what i do after i put all my lipstick on you know press them together got my look going i take a q-tip Dip it in some makeup remover or some makeup oil and go right over it. And yeah, I don't try to avoid it though because you can't. Like, <laughs> you can't. When I had lip rings, if I wore horseshoe lip rings, I would just push them down and put my lipstick on and then pop them back up. And if they were um, barbell, oh my God, captives, I would just wipe it off. <laughs> um, No problem. So you do like the Morphe Jaclyn Hill? Morphe is a decent brand to me. Thank you. The concealers are my favorite. I love Morphe palettes. You know, I do. I do. Oh, I do. I do. I do. So yeah, I have so the James Charles. I'll tell you how I feel about that one in that review. I gave it a B minus. <laughs> but if you want to know all the details, watch that review. I gave it a B minus. It's not exceptional. It's not horrible. I really like the color selection. I really like the colors that he chose. Um, just like these bright colors with the... I just really like it. It's bright. I appreciate it. Um, the Jaclyn Hill will not get a review. It's kind of... you. There's plenty of reviews on this palette. Um, but I will show you my... I will tell you my thoughts in a video or something like that. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll review these couple all together. Mm -hmm. But I'm just really excited to have it. 
In the beginning, they remind me of B. Yeah, BH Cosmetics. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I think they're a little bit more glam, though. They have a little bit... And BH Cosmetics doesn't come out... They come out with a new palette here and there. Um, but I definitely think Morphe is probably the bigger brand now. Not quite sure, though. I'm really excited about this one. I like... I want all of Morphe's palettes, too. Now, if they can't put mirrors in all of them... Which I don't think they're going to put start putting mirrors in their big ones. I don't think so. But if they can't, um, I would like for all of them to have this folded cardboard packaging. And not the easy to break um, this packaging. I'd like for them all have the cardboard packaging. If you're going to put a mirror in it, I understand. But if you're not, make it cardboard. Make it cardboard. Um like all the Jaclyn Hill ones and stuff and put the names, print the names. Yeah, I don't need a mirror. I'll sacrifice a mirror. Um, so I know it seems early, but I have, I'm waiting on IMAX tickets to go on sale. IMAX tickets usually are on sale by now, but remember they added a new show, which was um, Atlanta. So they're probably behind with all of that. I have not even texted my girl Grace to ask her what's going on. Um, but yeah, so I'm waiting on those. But I have planned, the dates are up. It's the 12th through the 14th of April, 2019, which is like five months away, uh, four months. Let's say it's December now, January, February, March, April. <sighs> Let's say it's December. Um, it's so funny because my spring classes start in April, April 3rd. So like that in the following week, I'm going away. But anyway, um, so yeah, waiting for them to go on sale. But I have been planning, and they posted on Instagram that they should be up by the end of the month. This month, um, I have been planning. Like hotels have been booked, honey. Hotels have been booked because we know the dates. Uh, we're renting a van, like a minivan, so everyone can go together. Uh. What? I don't I don't understand. I'm not sure how to help you. <laughs> I met you there. You did. Are you gonna come again this year? So we can chat again. Um, so yeah, we're gonna run a mini minivan, you know. That way you can pack everything in it in one car. Ready to go. We are ready to go. Um, pre IMAX list. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go. And you tag me. So if you took a pic and tagged me, then then I'm going to remember. We disconnected the game. I want you to come back so we can take another pic. Glow up from a year. There's the point we took a pic. Did we... You were disappointed. Did we not... What, did I not post your picture or what happened? Um, because that was not intentional if that was the case. Or if you still have the pic, post it now or send it to me so I can post it. Um, oh, <laughs> you was disappointed with that. <laughs> I thought it was me, girl. I was getting ready to fix the situation. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, yeah. If it ain't your thing, then don't waste your money, boo. Um, anyway, my, I'm at the list. So going off of who was there last year, um, assuming most of the bigger companies. Oh, yeah. I remember, girl. I remember the pink. So, yeah. I would love to see you again, but it's all good. Uh, but, like, if it's not your thing... Don't waste your coins. So, judging by the people that went last year, assuming all the bigger brands, I'm going to hit up Morphe. In four months, there's going to be a new Morphe palette out. There's going to be some palette that I don't own out. Um, uh, so, yeah, grabbing those. Uh, hopefully, they come out with new shades. Of these press, hello, 
of these pressed pigments. Y'all, these are my jam. I appreciate them so much. Um, so if they come out with more colors of those, uh, pressed pigment. So, you know, Morphe, I get, you know, I get a little bit of everything. Um, not what you were getting from that. What you were going to get before your eye. Well, oh, okay. Well, I'm going to answer that next. Now I've already started with I meant. <laughs> um, what was I saying? <laughs> Uh, the bigger brands, like I said, Morphe, um, Inglot. I really want to get some more singles from Inglot. You just got to take your time. You have to take your time. And I think I'm going to have, have to have mine written because like I'll go. Like I took, I took a picture of the ones that I already had. But then when you go, you're still overwhelmed with all of them on the table. And you're like, and I just had to walk away. So I think I'm going to go on the Inglot site and kind of write down the ones I'm interested in. So I already know when I get there. Um, NYX, I mean... Kind of what I do if I don't have things, I don't have specific things right now because it's kind of early. But what I do is I'll set a budget for each booth. Hopefully Mac is there again. Um, but then again, I didn't get much from Mac. Mm. Coco Lashes. Um, I really want to focus on singles. That's one thing that I mentioned. Um, I gone. I went through a lot of my uh, makeup, and I have a lot of. Oh yes, you coming? Hopefully, I see you. I have a lot of empty magnetic palettes, and I want to fill them. I have a lot of huge ones. I just have a lot of empty magnetic palettes. I want to try different brand singles. So that's something that's going to be huge for me when I go. Um, is the is the singles. Yeah, your wallet are going to take a hit. Your wallet going to take a hit. Okay, so um, that's kind of where I am now. Of course, you guys know I do videos with my list and everything. But lashes, eyeshadow singles. Um, What else? It's going to be big. Eyeshadow singles and palettes, lashes. Um, And I really want to revamp my kit uh, with foundation. Foundation palettes and or liquid foundations, like makeup artist style. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe an airbrush kit if it's on sale because I really want. I have not been freelancing like I should. Um, I love you. I love you. Love from Spain. Hey, what's up? Um, I really haven't been free. I didn't freelance. I think I did like two jobs this year. It's just not. I don't know. I I did a, do a poor job of marketing myself and like pushing it out there. I really do enjoy freelancing. I don't want to be like. Like, I don't want to just do makeup for the rest of my life. You know, like, that's my career. I want to have my foot in the industry, but not in that way all the time. But I know to build something, I definitely should continue to do that. So I definitely want to rebuild my kit in 2019, like, rebrand and really freelance a little bit more. So, yeah. All right. So makeup that I want to get before I'm at. That's four months. Got four or five months. So let's just take a huge chunk of this list and call it things that haven't been released yet. Um, but things that have been released. The Huda Beauty Nude Palette. Definitely want to pick that up by the end of this year. So it's it's almost December. So I'll get that in a couple weeks. Um, the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. Um, there was a couple others that I did want to... Um, Pushing through your angst. Push through it, honey. I'll be there with you. My anxiety isn't is it, uh, triggered by large crowds, but I can I completely understand. You just take a deep breath and you kind of mentally put yourself in your happy space. Sounds cliche. And, you know, you're there because you love makeup, obviously. So kind of get lost in the makeup. And honestly, all the people disappear. Kind of get lost in the makeup. Yeah. Um, and everyone there is there for the same reasons as you. We love this stuff. And so you're among friends. So it'll be fine. Um, so yeah, the Huda Beauty. There was a couple others. Let me think off the top of my head. Um, uh, um, dang, you can't remember. I can't even think. I want to check out the other Huda Beauty, the mini palettes, the, the little mini nine pan obsession ones. Um, I want to do a haul from Shop Hush. Uh, you're getting into your second one now. Your second Jaclyn Hill palette, what you use up? Um, but 
Uh, I want to get into the Huda 9 palette. The Melt Cosmetic palette I'm interested in. Oh, also Melt Stacks. I want to check those out at Ulta. Get a couple more. But it's just so expensive. I, <laughs> some brands I just I'm not ready to spend that much money on. And Melt is one of them. So, yeah. Um, What else? I want to do some shop. I'm going to look at, like I said, the makeup from Shop Hush. Uh, like the Bad Habit stuff. Um, what else? They're all in my mind. They're all in my mind because, like, I have them saved on, like, Instagram and stuff. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. <laughs> um, there was some other. ColourPop. They're jelly, <clears throat> much shadows. They're jelly shadows. I definitely want to pick those up. Didn't even try them yet. Um, LA Girl has some new jelly highlighters. I'm a sucker for things in jars and... I want to try those. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, what else? Pat McGrath. See the way my bank account was set up by the Pat lady. No, it's not. It's not happening anytime soon. I am gonna go. Beauty. <clears throat> Zuba Beauty. That's a good one too. Pat McGrath, I, I, first of all, I haven't even swatched them. Um, my Sephora up here, I think, has the display, but no. I know the one in New York does. <clears throat> That'll be something when I go to IMAX and I have my chunk of money to spend. Like, I have a budget, like when I go to New York. And if it fits in the budget, maybe, but still, I still don't know. I still don't know because that's probably mm, $25 palette. <clears throat> I don't know, baby, the way my bank account set up. I, you know, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> ColourPop, like I said, has a lot of things. Um, yeah. But yeah, kind of just like these next four months are kind of the boring phase. Like, unless you catch things on sale, like after the holidays, after the holidays, after Christmas, I do like to catch like when like the sets go on clearance at Ulta and things like that. Or like at Walmart, like the makeup, like the beauty sets and stuff. I do like to catch that. But other than that, not too many specific things so far. December and January, like the new year turnover is kind of the boring time until spring really hits for new makeup. So, <clears throat> but, um... Beauty, uh, I love that habit. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah, Suva Beauty has some singles, and I, I'm kicking myself because they had those UV liners. <clears throat> I think Carmen knows what I'm talking about. Those UV, like, glow-in-the-dark eyeliners, that brand where I picked out the big singles. I picked those out where it was like, buy four, get four free, and it was the same deal on the liners, and I did not pick them up, and they were sold out the next day I went, and I was so upset. <laughs> they had like glow in the dark neon eyeliners like in the jar and I was just oh so hopefully they have them again and that day it was like buy five get five free buy four it was it was insane um what else sidebar you guys look at my braids I know my edges but y'all know I lay my edges how much I want to take them out next week but then I also don't because I'm not ready to do my hair. Like, I mean, I got some growth, but you can still see my scalp. Like, I don't know. And when I wear them down, you can barely see anything. Like, keep it real. Don't tell me, like, I'm not high maintenance. Like, I'm not, I'm not bougie in the, about my hair. So, like, and I have headbands and things. Like, how much longer y'all think I can go? Because don't worry about the edges because I lay my edges. But, like, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't feel like taking them out yet. Let me know. Keep it real. What's up, babe? Did you go out? I'm back for it. Oh, you didn't go to leave out yet. So, y'all let me know. You can get another two weeks. <laughs> Thank you. So, maybe the week after next. Definitely before Christmas, but I'm trying to figure out how close to Christmas can I push it. <laughs> I'm taking my hair out. Um, yeah, next week is gonna be a busy week for me. So yeah, probably the following week we might help. Might work it out. Might work it out. So two weeks. Thank you for that. Thank you. I can push it two weeks. 
I can push it. Put it in like a half point. See how I got a little cute headband. And we good to go. You wish you could wash it. My best friend Susan says that. When I first met her, she did not know that black women did not wash their hair every day. She just, she showers every day. I mean, like, she washes her hair in the shower every day. And she's like, you don't wash your hair every day? And I was like, no. And I think it happened because like it was like a shower cap or some situation because we were roommates in college. It's like a shower cap situation. She was like, um, I was like, I need a shower cap. And she's like, why? And I was like, because I'm not getting my hair. Which is, you don't wash your hair in the shower? No. And when I do wash my hair, I don't, I rarely wash it in the shower because that's an event. Wash day is an event. It is an event. You need to clear your calendar. You need to get a snack. You need to turn on your Netflix series and you keep going. Um, but she, it just blew her mind. Um, <laughs> I was like, yeah. And like when I get a protective style, how I can go even longer. I can go a couple weeks without washing my hair. She just didn't. Didn't grasp it. It was hilarious. So, I'm looking at Nelson's right here, and then the cat is looking at Nelson. He's probably about to jump on Nelson. So, that's what they do. Poor Susan. Yeah, she ain't had no clue. She, she was like, what? Like, it just blew her mind. She was like, but, and I, you know, I explained, like, you know, moisture and how her hair gets dry and how her hair would get greasy. Like, you know, the whole different, and she just was like, it made sense. Tia said, hi, Nelson. You got me. Tia said, hi, Nelson. Hey. The cat. <laughs> hey, he's fighting my hoodie. Yeah, they get into it all the time. Griffin's getting big. He's getting yeah, look really at that little pudge belly. He is. He's getting look really big. Look at that little big. pudge belly. He's getting big. He likes it if you do that. And he's a very chill and relaxed cat. As no, you can he's see, not. One of you, but like he's just. My leg looks like I ran through a sticker bush. Oh, I don't know. You guys have personal things. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. But yeah, he's Susan just didn't know. He can have a set. If he sneezed in it. <laughs> Griffin is six months old, but according to the cat calendar, he is how old? Ten. He is ten human years old. He's ten years old. He's ten years old. But he acts like he's three. When are you going to count those brushes? You know what? I have to wash my brushes. I was going to wash them tonight. I might wash them tomorrow. Between tonight and tomorrow, I'm going to wash my brushes. So then I'll count them for you. I don't know why. And I'll count them in categories. How many I, how many this. I might break it all the way down. And that can be a video. Well, maybe not a video because it's kind of boring because I'm just sharing numbers. But maybe an Instagram post or something. Uh, <laughs> but I'll count them. I don't know why that's interesting to you, but... <laughs> Is Carmen still... I need to do an inventory. I've kind of given up on my makeup inventory. I'm going to have to start fresh one of these days. Um, so... But I can count them, like how many this, how many that. But oh, Nelson might have found a house. Um, it could go either way, maybe not. But whenever we decide to move and I redo this makeup collection, I mean, like I move it and I'm unpacking it again, I think that'll be the perfect time to do the inventory. Thank you to do the inventory as I go. Um, I think that'd be the perfect time. And so that's probably when I'll be able to actually inventory every piece of makeup that I have. So, I'm really into that. I just haven't had the time. You got me again. Come on, Griffin. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's my account not prepared for Pat McGrath. Like, that's what we not going to do. That's what we not going to do. Thank you. I have a video up on how I did this and kind of why... Um, I don't know if it's a cool thing or I should be. It's a cool thing. People have setups for everything. I, I noticed that, like, being on YouTube and, like, you think in the beauty community, people judge for everything because they ain't got nothing else to do with their time. But your setup and, like, having a station for your hobby is not new. It's not anything to be embarrassed about. Think about crafters. Have you seen craft room videos? What? Like, have you seen, like, sewing room videos? People who, that's their craft. Um, uh, people with, like, I don't know, like, so many different things. 
people who do woodworking, have you seen their tool shed? Have you people, seen people have hunting rooms? People have hunting rooms. rooms. People have gun people, whatever your hobby is, there is a set of like tech people, like gamers. Have you seen their setup? So like you see like setups, cool setups where people have um like the TV and they have every game system and all the games organized and like at baseball card. Like you have a collection. People have <laughs> look at this. Look at this. I know, man. Oh, he had he had my string. He, he still so, had yeah, it. Yeah, he got it. People have uh whatever your hobby is, and if you are diehard into it, you're gonna have a setup, a room, a situation. I see um and it doesn't have to be your career. I would love to be a beauty room. Love that I can watch it. Oh, thanks, Trish. Um, but you know, even if it's not your career, even if it's a hobby, you know, you see this. People who do nails. Have you seen, oh my gosh, oh I love her. Simply nail logical. Her, she got custom shells for her thousands of nail polishes. Like, anybody need to judge? Ain't nobody need to judge. Don't be, don't be, you know, don't be embarrassed. You know, you're just like, thanks. Mm -mm. You know, thank you. Like, yeah, you this is what I said. I tell people I gotta, I tell people. My mom's are like, opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one, and most of the time, they're full of shit. I like that. <laughs> so don't let others in. I, I like that. Um, yeah, but like when people, we're talking about makeup or whatever, and everybody's saying, I'd be like, I got a makeup room. And they're like, really? And I'm like, yes. And I show them, oh, that's beautiful. I'm like, look, it's awesome. You know, you want to know, you're welcome to come over and check it out. Like, I'm that person. So don't, yeah, don't let them. You let him crawl on you. Don't look over here. <laughs> um, what am I going to do? Oh, I've been <laughs> fighting him the entire time I've been home. Wait. Oh. <laughs> and then they play back and forth. All the time. All the time. <laughs> Why is he doing that? Roast them, like Nelson. Roast the boy. Boy. <laughs> That's why you a long tail having square looking bush baby. <laughs> roast them. That's what you got there. That's why you're only 10 years old. You have multiple <laughs> thumbs. Your mom was an alley cat. Boy. Yeah, those are my boys. Mm-hmm. But you put them down. <laughs> Nelson, you got sick of it. I I you have to. Sometimes you just have to sit him down. You do. Way. You do. And he always hangs with us when I'm in here. But well, watch, 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 watch. When I'm in here, he is not far at all. And then we both go to bed. When we both go to bed. He is, um, <laughs> you may do it again. See if we can get him on camera. He does it all the time. See if we can get him on camera with your dirty jeans. All right. You can't see I was, him. I was digging <laughs> today. Oh, yes, you, got you got him. Griffin, I'm so sorry. I'm not. Oh, shit. Serves you right. All right. Well, that failed. Sorry, Griffin. <laughs> it was water, you guys, so he'll be fine. He'll dry off and he'll be back. Yes. He'll be back. <laughs> you see how your mother did you? Now you gotta attack her. Sorry. He does that to me all the time. Yeah, he does that as well. Yeah, it was just water. He'll be fine. It's just like how we spray him sometimes. Might have had a little lemon in it, but. You put lemon in my water? No. Oh. Of course I didn't. So, you guys, any other topics, any other drama, any other controversies in the beauty makeup community that we shall address here while I'm here spilling water on my cat? <laughs> Sorry, Griffin. What colors did you use the palette for your look? Okay. How long? Let me wipe up the water. Um... <laughs> Yes, so let's go. So let me show you. Oh, the color pop. Okay. We get on that. Let me show you these palette colors. So, 
Nothing too, nothing too difficult. Nothing, you know, not too crazy. So, all right. He's real hurt. He's real hurt. He hurt. Yeah, because I tried to pet him, and then he looked at me like he hated me. So in right. the crease, I started. I, if I can, I know the colors. I don't remember what order I put them on in. But this shade called Boutique, which is this. Mm, brick shade that shade as well as this uh fuchsia pink which is called love that those two started in the crease and some of this because i'm extra this is called no beans okay all right those and then on the lid i did a combination of literally and so good which is, hmm, where are we? Where are we? Literally so good. Um, yep. And then that outer, dark outer area is purple. And that is escape. That right there. And on the lower lash line, I put a green liner, a green Maybelline liner. And... I smudged with Daddy. Is that what that is? Yeah. Um, I have a review coming. Uh, I gave it a B minus. I gave it a B minus. <laughs> uh, it quality wise, it's it's leaning toward good. You know, a little bit above okay. Um, but what really sells it is just the color selection. Um, can I focus? What really sells it is the color selection. I think, you know, I talk about it in the review, but I think they did a great job picking these bright colors and great supporting colors to go with it. So, all right. Color pop drama. Well, color pop, and I'm, I'm, let me calm down. First off, I'm excited to try the color pop ones. They'll probably be out of stock and done because I think it's a collaboration. But anyway, came out with jars of like glitter gel stuff. Um, like this. This is Lemonhead. And then Lemonhead came out and said like they kind of jocked off of them. I don't know all the details, but I will say this. Lemonhead did not invent glitter. You did not invent glitter. However, from however... I will say, since I have learned about Lemonhead Space Pace, since I got these, I have been trying to dupe them because they're expensive as hell. Um, um, I, I have been trying to dupe them, find something similar, and I have not. I have not been able to find a gel, concentrated glitter gel that can be used on the eyes, lips, face, and does not flake off, like all the qualities of this, but somewhere else I have not been able to find it. Um, they have, like, glitter gel for hair, uh, but they don't have any, like, cosmetic glitter gel. I just can't find it. I am excited that someone like ColourPop came out with it. Um, I don't know how that one works or whatever. I haven't dove into that. Um, but if it's as similar as Lemonhead is explaining it to be, I'm kind of excited about it. However, I don't think that they have grounds to, like, sue or anything. I'm not a lawyer, by the way. Because I don't think it's... I don't think it's... unique enough it's glitter compacted in a gel but like i don't know it's glitter glitter comes in different forms i can understand where lemon head's coming from because i will say i don't know any other products like this on the market i really don't um and trust me i've looked looked for diys look for i don't know anything thank you i don't know anything like this on the market and now that color pop is doing it um i'm happy for that but I, I they didn't invent glitter, you know, and just deciding to put glitter in a gel like it was going to happen eventually. I feel for them, and I know how it is when a larger a larger brand might, um, you know, come in and and I don't know. I just it's hard. It's hard for me what to say. But on ColourPop side, they're like deleting comments on the issues. I think they should. I guess you can't address everything, but I do think if you feel like you've done nothing wrong, stand up for yourself. You know, like ColourPop, deleting it, trying to ignore it, kind of does make you look shady. 
But if you just say, you know, like, I don't know how you could do it without stirring up even more drama. But, like, defend yourself, you know? But then again, you're a big company. I don't know what would be the best practice, but I don't know. And it does suck when bigger companies steal things from smaller companies. But in this case, I don't think they're stealing anything. I think it's just a formula of, like, I don't know. And in makeup, everything copies everything, pretty much. But anyway, I like Lemonhead Space Paste. I do. They're very expensive. And so the only place I am going to get these is IMAX. Um, <laughs> uh, so I will pick up some more of these, though. This one is Jailbait. This green. I also have Malibu. Thank you. And I also have Muholland, which is really good. Yeah, it's shady that they don't respond, but I mean, what are you going to say? Like, you can't, res like I said, defend yourself, but you can't respond to every individual comment. You might just need to make a post or address it, a video, whatever. But making a, a addressing every single comment, also, I don't think you should, I don't know. It's your channel. It's your page. You can delete whatever you want. I don't know. Because I'm thinking about if I was in that position. After a while, you do get tired of it, and, you, and I, maybe I would delete them. But I don't know. That's kind of tough to say. I don't know. I really don't. So another thing I want to tackle in 2019 is making my own wig. I'm not a wig girl. Then again, I don't know. Never worn a wig. Um, but I'm a protective style girl. And now like with the, with social media and YouTube, I've been sucked into watching like people make their own wigs. Now I'm not trying to go full glam like Beyonce, but and there's another form of protective style. Like I have natural hair. So on them days when I really don't feel like doing my hair or whatever, you know, making my own wig, like Beauty Bakery and Huda Beauty. Like we were talking about that. Hold on, Carmen. Let me talk about that. Um, so just let me know, um, Maybe, like, tag me and on Instagram of, like, easy wig. I don't know. Or recommend some people. I don't know. But nothing to, nothing to, like, what am I trying to say? Nothing too glam. I just want to get, like, some decent quality hair and create a wig. Make a wig. I know how to sew uh, wefts, so it shouldn't be that hard. Trying to learn about frontals and closures and stuff. But I want a wig where I don't have to glue and all that. I think I just want a wig that I can put on. So I'm going to learn. And I'm going to go and get some cheaper hair and make me one. Okay. And we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, thank you. So, yeah, the Beauty Bakery and Huda Beauty thing. Yeah. Beauty Bakery didn't come up with baking powder and the idea of baking, but it was one of those, it was a testy situation. Making your wig sounds hard. It's actually not. So this is, I'm really being generic with the steps, but this is literally what you do. So you get a hair, a haired, uh, head form, like the foam one or whatever, or how, if you're balling a mannequin, whatever. You need a wig cap, basic things. You need a wig cap, wig cap. You need hair, scissors. I would get a closure. Um, the things that I need to learn, like how to match my closure and things like that, but I would need a closure, um, needle and thread, and you, you know, lay your wig, wig cap down. Um, the first thing you do is like sew on your closure where you're going to want your part and all that. I know all of that. And then you start to sew the wefts or glue them. Some people glue on a wig. I think I would sew to not damage them as much. Sew the hair onto the wig cut that remaining part out of the closure, the, the remaining wig cap, um, and put it on. <laughs> I don't know. So they have wig caps now with braids. Yeah. Yeah. They do. Oh, that's going to be my next project. Um, and I think I'm going to get addicted. Hair is a lot more expensive than makeup, though. Like bundles, like it's a lot more expensive, but I definitely think... I could do it and I definitely am excited to like switch up even more um yeah I'm pretty excited about it so I don't know I don't know <laughs> um yeah so I'm gonna try 
Like, I'm going to go to the beauty store and get some cheaper hair. Definitely cheap bundles, like cheap, cheap bundles so I can get the the concept of, like, the wig, like, how to do it. And then, let's say I like it. I like what it looks like. I like how I did it. And then I would, like, invest in some bundles or something. But I'm interested in that because I like the idea of switching up your hair. Um... How long have you been with in love with makeup? And, um, I have been wearing eyeshadow since like elementary school, <laughs> like fifth, sixth grade. I have a little palette, like some little shimmer or whatever. High school, I they called me Mimi from the Drew Carey Show because I really wore unblended eyeshadow, but I loved it. Um, pinks and blues and bright colors and things like that. Collecting it though, collecting it probably like six years since I've been on YouTube. I started collecting when I was on YouTube. Um, I started my channel not really knowing what direction it was going to go in. Chit chats and can we talk some things like that. And then I started watching YouTube videos. And I I mean like beauty videos. And I was like, wait a minute. This is a thing. And I was like, I like makeup. And I, I learned so much. I learned pretty much all my makeup. All of my makeup stuff from YouTube. I learned all of my skills, techniques. I like 90% of it because I did go to cosmetology school. Um, <laughs> but that cosmetology school does not focus. That's why I didn't renew my, I know I should have. And that's one thing I beat myself up about. I passed my state board, my theory state board, and I just didn't renew, like continue to, to have the license. And I, I don't know, because they didn't focus on makeup or nails. And I know you can work as one with both of those. But at that time I was kind of ill-informed. I was like 18 when I did it. Um, I was kind of ill-informed. I want to go to college for something completely different. So I thought it would have been a waste of my time. And I was just like, whatever. Uh, but they didn't focus on nails and makeup as much as I would like them to. But anyway, and so like YouTube, when I started YouTube, I was 22. And 21, 22. And um, I was like, this is a whole thing. And I fell in love with it. And that's where my money would go. Um, when I started YouTube, I was living at home. I really didn't have any bills, but I worked. Um, uh, I was in, I was in community college at the time. I had just left my four-year university, uh, and I went to community college. No, I'm lying. I was almost done with community college. I was almost done. Oh, God, I'm, am I lying again? I, I just started community college. There we go. I just started community college. Um, and <laughs> it did. I just started community college and I had went through a breakup. And while the breakup itself was pretty clean, I was now bored. I was, and when I say clean, I mean, there wasn't like baggage. I might, I've been thinking about makeup things that too. Um, there wasn't like baggage with it. Like it still sucked. It was bad. It still sucked, but it wasn't like all this extra. Like you're not drunk. Y'all still going back. Mm -mm. It was like we were done, and I didn't talk to him again. <laughs> um, and, but I was bored because I spent all my free time with the person, and so what do I do? And I kind of in the back of my mind, I always wanted to start one, and that's what happened. Um, and it just I'm still here, so. I don't know. And through this channel, you guys see me grow. Like I said, I was living at home. I was living at home. I didn't have any bills. So I worked. I worked and pretty much my whole checks would go to makeup. <laughs> and then, and I was working. I wasn't making that much. I was working a little bit over minimum wage. But again, I was in community college. I was making like 10 bucks an hour. I don't know. And, um, and then I graduated with my associate's degree. And um, I graduated with my associate's degree. Do I put on makeup daily? Hell no. Uh, probably on a good, good work week, maybe like four times a week, if I feel like it. So most, almost most, of the, almost most of the time, I don't wear makeup during the week, unless I have special events or meetings at work. Because I, I have two jobs, and I work in a lab, and I work at a museum, and um, it's not really either atmosphere is needed to wear it, but there's a lot of special events that I do at the museum and I always wear makeup there. Um, and then in the lab, I wear a lab coat and I usually have a mask on, I have goggles on, so it's not necessary. But on the weekends, I almost always wear makeup. And yeah. Uh, but anyway, or if I'm going into work late and I have time to chill and do it, I will. Uh, but anyway, and I graduated. I graduated... Um, 
And I got a job making, let me see if I can remember, like two and a half times what I was making. <laughs> That's just all I'm gonna say, like significant amount more still living at home. Um, not really saving for anything, not gonna lie. Um, and yeah, and so I just was able to buy whatever. Just doing it. Now I'm an adult. I'm, well, I was an adult then, but now I'm adult life living. Well, I live with Nelson, but like we have bills and we have different things. So budgeting does come involved, but I'm still okay. And I'm still able to do this. And it's actually just gotten better every time. It's, just, it's gotten better as we go, as the years go. And I'm glad you guys have watched me grow from being at home, having a little corner desk, to the whole video, the trip of me going to Ikea and getting all my Alex stuff, which was actually, almost all of it was a gift from my friend Lorinda. Um, so getting all the Alex stuff, putting that together, revamping new lights, getting new cameras, getting ring lights, getting all of these things I've grown on the channel. Like, I didn't start from here. Just like all of it has grown on this channel. Having a makeup room now. I don't know. Just blessed. And I really like, I love the fact that you guys can see that journey from the beginning. Uh... You should get a makeup thing tattoo. I'm thinking about it. Probably will. What lipstick are you wearing? I'm not wearing a lipstick. I have a lip balm. So I had on a lipstick earlier, and it was a purple lipstick. And I wiped it off, and it's probably like a little stain. But my lips are shiny because I just put on some lip balm. And this is my favorite lip balm, and it's pretty much gone now. This is the Glam Glow Pout Mud Wet Lip Balm Treatment. I got this like a year or two ago, to be honest with you. And it came with a lip scrub. But it's pretty much empty. But that's what I put on. There's some lipstick on. Um, but yeah, this this journey, and it's only going to get better. Um, yeah. I want to wait to do a makeup collection video. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I am. So it was like, when your next makeup collection video? I usually do them after IMATS. And I'm like, well, I don't have to wait till IMATS. I could, I could do it now. But I'm not 100% satisfied with the decor in here. I was going to do a decor update, and that might come before IMATS, maybe, but yeah, it's going to be a while, because I'm just, I don't know, I'm not 100% ready yet. <clears throat> and there are some things in my collection that I know are, like, at capacity in terms of storage, and if I'm going to IMATS, if I'm doing all this and things I'm getting, I'm going to have to, IMATS is in April, I'm going to have to reorganize anyway, so I'm going to wait. Uh, do palettes expire? I mean, anything, ex all makeup expires. Palettes have the, usually the powders, palettes and pressed powders have the longest shelf life. Um, there's always a shelf life listed on the back of makeup. So for an example, this James Charles palette, if you can see this little open thing right there, where is it, where is it, right there, it says 12 months. Ain't nobody using this palette up in a year. But that is kind of to release liability from the company where if something happens after 12 months of you using it, kind of can't sue them, I guess. It's like after opening. But you can have pressed powders last years. And I'm talking like up to like decades. Um, I don't know if I would go to like 20 years, but, and I don't know if there's anything in my, there's nothing in my collection that I've had for like 10 years, but powders and my eyeshadow palettes are definitely the longest that I have. Um... So creams and liquids and everything get through. I don't keep anything like follow the expiration date on anything. Um, but I do keep an eye on my creams and liquids and stuff and eyeliners a lot. I keep a closer eye on those uh, and mascaras um, than I do palettes. I'll keep palettes for years, years and years and years and years and years. A couple of my Morphe palettes, I've had them close to 10 years, maybe like six or seven years because my first IMATS. Mm, I want to say seven years. I want to say, is this my seventh IMATS or my sixth or seventh IMATS? And so I still have some that I got at the first one and they work just fine. Um, yeah, eyeshadow quality will degrade, but it does take years. Don't get them wet, take care of them and you'll be fine. So, am I interested in doing makeup classes? I don't really think I'm qualified to do makeup classes. I don't. I don't think if I offered makeup classes, anyone would pay for them and, and or, you know, participate. First off, I think makeup classes should be in person. If I do an online class, I don't know. I guess I could do a live online class and stream live 
But like still, that's not in person. Like I should walk around and give you critiques and look at your, I don't know. I think it takes a lot more effort than some people actually put in to do. You should do a comparison of Ulta brand makeup versus a four, so four brand makeup and see which provides best cover. That is a great idea, Carmen. However, Ulta doesn't really carry my skin tone and skin color thing. So, but but that is a good, that's a good idea. Battle of the brand, a battle of the store brands. Thank you for that. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> it's a good idea. And for beginners, maybe. Maybe. How did I grow my channel? Um, That's a question that I, I don't know the answer to because um, I just, I've been on YouTube for six, again, six years-ish, going on seven, I think. Uh, Yeah, going on seven years. Um, And... I don't know. I only have, like I said, I don't want to say I only have because this is a lot, but I have close to 12,000 subscribers. I have seen people, and it, it does make me a little salty, but then I, I let the saltiness go by and then I'm happy. Um, it's just a natural reaction that I've been on YouTube like less than a year and then you're close to a million. And I try to figure out the formula like, are they more talented than me? Are they prettier than me? Is their stuff better than me? And usually... You know, a lot of them are probably talent, more talented than me, not going to lie. But like I said, like talent is not the only ingredient. I think it just happens to be, I do think in the beauty community, you have to look. IMAX is in New York. Hold on. IMAX is in New York. Um, they, it, it travels all over the world. The next one is in, New, the next one is in California in January. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then New York is in April and the tickets run around 65 bucks. Anyway. Um, I think it comes down to, yes, a little bit of talent. Then again, sometimes not. Definitely aesthetically pleasing. I hate to say this, but you, you have to look a certain way to reach that top. And it sucks, but it happens. Um, and a little bit of luck. A little bit of luck. And I think about, I think about the people that, that I look up to and what they do and how they grew their channel. And there's no real formula for it. You have really, I'm not the hardest working YouTuber. I'm not going to sit and tell you that. You know, I'm a real person with real life situations. Most of the bigger YouTubers, like they, they grew their channel to the point where now they can do it full time. So that helps. They also have a team that helps. Some people from the beginning I know have had teams, like someone that's editing their videos, someone that's helping them film, someone that's the audio. I don't, you know, I don't have all that. I'm a one woman show. And you have some YouTubers who are one woman shows or one man shows and that works. So there's no real formula. You know, there's no formula. Um, yeah, the beautiful people have an easier time making it. Not taking away from beautiful people. But it is what it I know. And I'll say this, no shade. There are some people that are at the top. Uh, well, not top. Let's say over a million because there's a lot of beauty, beauty YouTubers over a million. They're, they are over a million subscribers and I think they're trash at makeup. <laughs> But they're beautiful and they can make anything look good. And that's what the situation is, you know? Or there are people that are successful and I think their personalities are like wet socks. Like not and I'm like, how did you but people people like wet socks. <laughs> I don't know. Um and it happens. And then you have people that are beautiful. You have people that are beautiful, you have people that are extremely and you have people that are beautiful, that are extremely talented, that have less subscribers than me. And so I don't know what it is. I don't know. Um, but I just continue to be me. I know I've grown and I know I may have changed a bit in the sense of what I what I like. Like what I was into back then might not be the style that I'm into now, which definitely wasn't. You know, even like my vision, my I've grown up. My visual, I have piercings all over my face and I love them, but I wouldn't do that again. I don't miss them. Now that I'm into makeup, they would just get in the way. Like my nose ring and my lip ring get in the way sometimes, but I, and you know, I love them. So the, the love of piercings is still there. I just changed my look. You know, I was really into silver. I only wore silver. I realized that gold flatters me a lot more and now I love gold you know I dyed my hair all the colors since I've been on YouTube and like those things physically I've changed I don't think the inside of me has changed I don't think my passion has changed if that's the case I would have given up a long time ago you know if I was in this to be famous if I was in this to make money if I was in this to get PR not to say 
Mine is the famous. Not to say I wouldn't love any of those. I would love for YouTube to be my full-time situation. Definitely while I could just do YouTube for my income and go to school and build my career and build my what I really want to do instead of working the in-between jobs. Like if YouTube could be my in-between job until I flourish in my career, that would be excellent. But that's just not the way it works. Um, I've noticed... I've noticed, uh, and also with, let's back up with editing. I really edit very simply. And that's something that I actually take pride in. And I know video production is a big thing. And I have worked with Adobe Premiere. I keep getting disconnected, so I'm going to cut this off in a bit. I've worked with Adobe Premiere. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. It's too much. It makes my hobby not fun. I want to sit here, turn the camera on, talk about makeup. That's why I like to I like to keep my editing fairly simple. I also like to keep the nuances that I do in the videos, like when I drop shit. Like I I I'm not being phony or fake. I just think that's that's me, you know. I do I like simple editing to speed it up, slow it down if I need to, do a voiceover. And that's kind of what I like to do. I do not like super big production like that like video production because because then it become it does look like an advertisement and i'm not talking about like a background and a clearer camera like i could get a clearer camera that's something that makes sense but like just the whole other part of it i'm just not into it i'm just not into it i want to sit and be your home girl and talk about makeup that's what i want to do that's why it's fun for me if i have to spend even more hours than i already do on editing it's not going to be fun for me anymore and i don't want that and i know that's kind of what you need to to you know i guess make it make your videos look like a movie nowadays to you know i guess make it make your videos look like a movie nowadays but I would have to hire someone to do that for me. And I don't have the money to do that. I just, I just can't, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> and yeah. Thanks. I just, so I don't think I'm ever going to blow up. I don't think I'm ever going to go viral and I'm okay with that. Um, I do sit down and I do in the back of your mind, you think about what every video you post and you like, this one might be the one that gets noticed. This one might, might be the one that gets what it is, you know, but whatever. Um, so it's really, it's really, it's really interesting. Uh, what changed? Um, so it's really, it's really, it's really interesting. Uh, what changes have I seen since I started? So those are like changes in me. Um, but like the beauty community, I don't know. It depends on who you watch because you have those top tier people, like I said, that shape what everyone expects the rest of the community to be. And so in your mind, like if someone's just looking at them, they're like, dang, the beauty community has changed. Like now it's all about advertising and shilling and sponsored videos. When in reality, it's not. Those people are about, like it's not. For every big YouTuber, you have a thousand little YouTubers who are just like me and you. Homegirls talking about makeup, enjoying makeup. You have still channels that are solely drugstore. You have channels that, again, like me, who don't have any sponsorships, who, who don't have any affiliate links. I have one affiliate link um, to an indie brand. Um, I, you know, who don't have all those things, who don't get PR, who literally buy makeup because they like to review it and amass this kind of thing all on their own. You have thousands of channels like that, that have been, that are just like how old school YouTube is. So I don't think a lot has changed. I just think the ones that have blown up because they are, when someone might Google a video or someone might look up the YouTube community or a beauty YouTuber, these top names come up and then they taint what people think it really is when in reality, it's really not like that. Those, those people are just like that. The community is not like that. Um, and those and the people that follow them, the people that follow them, um, while it's a significant number, it doesn't equate to all people. Oh, thank you. It doesn't equate to all people who, um, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, so changes in the top tier, but overall, I don't think it's changed. I just think the people that people watch have changed, and maybe you got to watch the other ones, the smaller ones. Uh, how long does it take to edit, like, a 20-minute video? It depends on the kind of video. Um, and what do I use to edit? 
Uh, most of the time, I'm actually using just like Windows Movie Maker. Um, like I said, I do mess with Adobe Premiere and I've edited like three videos on there and I hate it. It takes so long. I just, I don't like the complicatedness. I don't like Photoshop. I do know how to use Adobe Photoshop. Um, I actually take, I had to take a whole course on it for my undergrad. And uh, I will use that rarely, rarely, rarely for a thumbnail. Rarely. Um, I don't even know why I pay for Adobe Suite. <laughs> Um, but I use like Movie Maker because again, my videos, I want them to be like very little edits as possible. I want to be standing here talking to you, but I want to be able to cut out unnecessary things and speed up and slow down. And yeah, but that's probably, probably it. I started editing with, with before, when I started my channel, I didn't edit at all. Uh, I've never edited it from a cell phone. I think there's cell phone, there are definitely apps to edit videos. I'm pretty sure, especially on the iPhone. Um, and I use my desktop to edit, but I've used my laptop too, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't need them. And I guess that's what it is. And I have not tried that. I guess that's, I guess that's what it is. And, and, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just want to be like how this is and just, but this is not what the majority want, obviously. And you have to, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I love this. I love what I do. I'm so excited. Nelson and I are looking for a place to move. Not necessarily because we don't like this place, but we've been here a couple years and we want a little bit more space. Whether that's Nelson purchasing a house. And I say Nelson. Um, I'll do a whole video on this if it happens. Nelson wants to buy a house. I don't, I am not ready to buy a house. Nelson, I, financially on paper, we're better as two single people than like a couple. I don't really like the questions of when you're getting married, are you getting married when you're having kids? Because they're kind of personal and they're like, you don't need to know all that. But um, just in general, Nelson's wanting to buy a house and he's probably going to stay here. I might not always live with Nelson because of my jobs in the industry that I'm in. Um... I might have a longer commute, so we might have to live separately for a while. We've talked about all this, but ultimately, Nelson wants to buy a house. So if he buys a house in this area, it is harder for women of color. If he buys a house in this area, um, or we just move and decide to rent a house, or what have you, um, I get to redo a beauty room, redo a makeup room. So that's something that... Um, I'm so excited for and just like I'm still into this. It's not about how much I make. It's not about because it's next to nothing compared to what I spend. Um, and I just like it. It makes me happy. It's an escape. Um, it it helps my anxiety. It it's fun. It's just yeah. I love collecting. I love having this collection. I love coming in here and playing with it every single day, whether the camera's on or the camera is on or it's not. I can sit here and just go through and, and that's why I do this. And that's why I love it. And that's why I love you guys because you get it. Um, yeah. Like I said, I'm not going to say I'm like, I, I'm not into this to become big. I'm not into this to become rich however i'm also not gonna say you know i don't even want all that because it's gonna come with a mess it will but i will embrace it you know if i could again if i could make my income off of doing this and doing what i love who would not want to do that however in my grand scheme of my life and my grand scheme of my career goals it's not to be a youtube star but this definitely could be what i make my money on while i'm go working toward my education and my career goals um in the fields of stem and education. What beauty guru would you be excited to do a collab with? I'm going to be completely honest. I have a list. And you'll be surprised. So Emily Noelle 3 love her. And <laughs> this is very specific. I'm about to be a, a choosy beggar right here. I want to do a collab where we're in the same room. Like, I don't want to do a collab where it's just a, a, all through the internet and she does a video and I do a video. No, I want us to be in the video together because I want to meet you. Like, I want to be with you. <laughs> like, we do our makeup together in the same room. Um, yes. Because she do collabs and, like, it just be through the internet. Like, we you, they they work it out and then, and then you post your video, I post my video. But no, I want to sit down and be with you. Um, same room collab. That's <laughs> what I want. 
Um, I would love to Nikki tutorials. Um, cause oh my gosh, first off, she's OG, she's queen. Um, and she's super talented, and her style of drama is what I like. And I feel like we could do a fun challenge together, and she would absolutely murder me in it. But whatever. Um, I would like to do a collab. Who? With who else do I have? Um, it's a lot. What's her name? Emily. Emily Noel eighty three is her channel. Um, but her name is Emily Edmonton. I think that's her married name. Who? Where was I? Um, Jackie Ina with a grain of salt. Jackie's just as extra as I am, and she's probably even more extra, and I think our extraness might cancel each other out, and I don't know how good the video would be, because people might click out of it, because we'd be too much. Um, um, I would love to review, like, maybe think best things for women of color with her, because I think she has good insight on that. Um, who else? Oh no, I think those are the three. Those are the three. Um I don't know. That's that's kind of tough because the people I watch, those are the people I watch. Um I don't think I'm subscribed to Jackie Ina anymore. Um, but I still kind of watch her videos. Uh see he I was watching her today. Um, okay, we could do we could do a collab. Um I wouldn't mind doing a collab. But again, I need to go to her house. I need to be in the same room. We need to be together. Um, Princess Bella. I think I would want to do a collab. But not so much a collab. Something where like she teaches me face to face on, on camera. Like how she does her looks. And see if I can get mine as good as hers. I would love to do something like that. Because her bright rainbows and situations. And then she would teach me how to edit her pictures. So I can glow like her. That would be cool. That would be really cool. Um, yeah, I think those are my top people. I think those are my top people. Um, as far as little, yeah, little, <laughs> smaller channels go, I like makeup struggles. I would love to do some sort of video with her. And it wouldn't be like makeup, like tutorial, putting it on, but we would be ranting together <laughs> about something. And I don't know what it would be, but something, something. Um, <laughs> Pomp Berry does really nice special effects, really nice avant-garde makeup. And I would like to do something with her. Um, pretty cool. She does a lot of special effects, a lot of characters and things like that. So I would love to do something with her. There you go. That's like six of them. But I like collabs are in the same room. I don't mind collabs. Like, if Emily, any type of collab, I'm doing it with you. You reach out to me. But I would love to meet these people. And we do the video together. And you see that chemistry. Because I'm I'm the bomb. Who's not going to like me? <laughs> so, that's what it would be. That's what we would do. I don't know. You guys like my new phone case? Very random. We have like seven minutes left. I usually do an hour and a half with my with my lives. This came from Five Below. It's not on my phone because I have it in the thing. And it was, it's a little baby unicorns. Wait. With Swarovski crystals on the unicorn. At least that's what the... I do not watch Chocolate Beauty. But I am a shall. Um... I need my nails done so bad. I don't feel like doing them myself. Um, and I'm trying to find a, a nail salon that is that that does nails extra like I like them. But that's not an hour for me like my current nail salon is. And I think I found one. on the, I was on their Instagram and I went on their website. And they're in my city. So that might be where I go. But... My nails are rough. These cuticles. Not looking good. <laughs> so I think I found one that does like drama like I need it. So. If they do well, you'll see my nails done in a bit. 
and I'll see them done. And I'll post on Instagram um, in the next couple weeks. But I need them done, and I do not feel like doing them myself. Really don't. It's serious. So, yeah. Oh, you guys, I have a P.O. box. I don't know if I've been on live since I've had one. I think I saw it when I was on live with Carmen. I have a P.O. box. And this is not a beg to send me things. But this is a you are welcome now to send me letters. I love getting letters. Um, I don't know what else. I guess it's more so for companies like PR, if that is an option, um, to not have my home address. Uh, my P.O. box will be listed in the description of all my videos. Probably not this one because it's a live. Um, but... Have a P.O. box. Okay, sure. We can do maybe pick pick different. Um, oh, we could do like maybe quick looks. I don't know. How, I don't know who takes longer to do their makeup, me or you. But um, maybe we get like ten minutes and we pick a look out of a hat and have to do it in ten minutes and like wipe that off and let's do another one. Um, yeah, that's the struggle. I feel you. Um, but, yeah, I need them done. They're a mess. <laughs> I do, I'm pretty sure. They're a mess. Um, so, you guys, thanks so much for coming on live with me. I'm going to make these regular, maybe Sundays, should we just do Sundays? Um, Sunday evenings, I'm, I'm definitely always home on a Sunday evening. I should be anyway. Um... How's that sound? I'm I'm cutting my cuticles as I talk to you guys because it's rough. So yeah, we'll do that. I'll put up a schedule or something, but thanks for hanging with me. I got two more weeks with my braids, you guys said. <laughs> oh, I did not. Look at Carmen. Sharing the, the real the real things. I'm a godmother now officially. Uh, my best friend is pregnant, Jessica. I did a live with her like last year. My best friend Jessica, and I posted this on Instagram and my Facebook and everything. Um, she is having a boy. Um, and his name's Tristan, and I am the godmother, one of the godmothers. She made her two best friends, me and Amber. Oh, you guys have never met Amber, but anyway, Amber. Uh <laughs> the godmoms. And I am a godmother, and she gave me this glass. Hold on, I'll get it. Announce the godmothers. Okay. She's like, we're going to announce the godparents at the baby shower, which I automatically didn't think it was me. And I'm just like, okay. Because in my mind, I'm thinking the godparent, like, you're not just going to put someone on a spot to be a godparent. Like, that's a big responsibility. So I figured she's going to announce it at the baby shower. Then the godparent already knew that they were the godparent and she was just announcing it to everybody else. That's how my mind worked. Like, <laughs> that's why I was like, okay, well, it ain't me. And so at the baby shower, me and Amber were actually there with some other friends. We're getting ready, decorating, doing all these things before she got there. It wasn't a surprise, but, like, we were there early. And I'm like, Amber, do you know who the godparents are? And she was like, I don't know. She was like, she said she's going to announce it. And I was like, well, I'm thinking the person already know, right? You're going to put somebody on the spot. And she was like, well, that does make sense. I don't know. We going back and forth. We have no idea. And it was both of us. She was like, you know, I have two godmoms. The baby doesn't have a godfather. I didn't pick any godfather, but so she picked two godmoms. And she was like, um, I have two godmoms that I know will take care of my child no matter what, that will come together if anything happened, blah, blah, blah. She was like, lifelong friends. And she was like, me and Amber. So she had gifts for us, like when you ask someone to be a bridesmaid. So it says, no oh, matter if I can put something in it because it's going to reflect, but let's see if you can see. It says, only best friends get promoted to fairy godmothers. And then she has our name. My name's on. It might be backwards on camera. Candace. And Amber has the same glass. And it's gold and black and matches my makeup room. Um, I have it actually on my shelf. I don't even have even drinking out of it. Drinking? Drink out of it. Um, but yeah, my godmother. My godson is due January 18th. And I'm really excited about it. Thank you. <laughs> So I already got on my mother's nerves like, mm, my, my godson going to be, my godson going to be over this weekend. Mm, I like this for my godson. My godson might like this. And my mother was like, well, you shut up. <laughs> like I've already been practicing, but that's kind of cool. You know, to have a kid in your life. 
I don't even know if I want kids. I don't think I do. I've been saying that for a while and I've been consistent with that. But to have a kid in your life that you're going to be close to and can help take care of and help raise, because I know my best friend, um, but then you can fill them with candy and teach them science experiments that'll ruin the carpet and then send them home. That's what I do. It's my job. And so, um, yeah. Um, and like my sister, Carmen, Carmen has two kids. Um, I don't mind being an aunt. Like, I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't, <laughs> like, like, I don't mind being an aunt. Um, as far as like my sister's kids, like I'm not around them as much. They're surround. I mean, my, they're surrounded by a big enough family, but like when I come over, they know who I am and everything like that. And like, I like that idea. Like, I think that's, you know, nieces and nephews are cool. And by me and Carmen, like, me and Carmen don't have the same mom. We have the same dad. So it's not like me and her grew up in the house together. And like those, like I live with her. Like I live near her and her kids like always around me. But like a godparent, it's a little bit different. You know, it's like, I don't know. It's a little bit different. Um, where you're not related by blood, but it's just that it's a little bit different. And um, I'm ready. I am ready. And plus Carmen's kids are a little bit older. Like her son, I can't influence her son now. Like, if I was around him a lot when he was a baby, I could have really influenced him. But now I get a chance to influence a newborn. Yeah. I'm really excited about it. And Carmen's daughter loves makeup, so, you know. I kind of influence through, you know, ESP. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, you guys, so thanks for watching my live. Um, I love you all. We'll try to do these on Sunday evenings. Um, that way we can catch up with the drama of the week, catch up with the up releases of the week. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll do it like that. So I'll let you know when the next one is. Uh, yeah. You can bring her. Bring her. She better not steal nothing. Bye, you guys.